Ngai Sahai. Ngai Sahai, Abzu here, back for another video. Playing some more uh, Baldur's Gate 3. How much further can I I guess go? we'll just uh, go in here, like I said last time. All right, here we go. We've got to be careful with the traps here. Glowing eyes are rarely a good sign. Best be careful. I believe we just need to go into... This calls for careful footwork. Wait, how the fuck do I make everybody hide? Oh, what the hell? Uh-huh. Group hide, shift C, okay. Don't want to draw any attention. Wonder if the gods are watching me. I should be able to just deactivate it here while sneaking. So sign of the others yet. Think the fire went bad. Shut it. Boss would rip you for talking that way. Well, at least we got the druid to keep ourselves entertained. He's boring. Let's find another one. All right, here we go. So if I push her off, will she die? I think I'll use Thunder Wave. This should kill the bitch, hopefully. Oh. Okay. Uh-huh. Wait, are they still... Breathe quiet. Oh my god. Move Wait, them. that bitch died and they didn't even notice. What the fuck? Alright then. <laughs> I guess we could do like a sneaky magic missile. This should just kill them. Okay, wait, wait, Shh. that one's weak, so let's not do that. Sharp Eye Gurza, Warrior Gresh. Well, they, they still don't see us. They still don't say, how is this bitch at one HP? What the fuck? Okay. Oh, now that they're waiting. together, now that they're all together, you shatter. Oh my God, we destroyed them. Holy fuck. They didn't even have the time to react. What the fuck? Wow. That was actually like the easiest thing I've ever seen in my life. Ready or not. Indolence breeds madness. All right, here we go. Let's just deactivate everything first. On my way. Before we talk to this guy, let's focus on deactivating everything. I'm still hiding, right? All right. Time to skulk about. Okay, I'm still hiding. That might be worth a look. Okay, everything is off now, I think. Should be fine now. 
Can I open this, please? Eh, it's nothing that interesting. Never wanted the easy path. Before I talk to the little dwarf, I'm gonna just do everything in the cave first. Watch how you go. There's a trap. Hmm. I didn't know if I used the key if it would still blow up, so I just disarmed it to be safe. I guess I'll talk to him now. I should speak up. His breaths are shallow, his wounds deep. He doesn't respond to your voice. Alright, so I'm going to, just in case Astarian's a little bitch, save. Let's see, where the hell is throw? Excuse me? What? Where the hell is throw? Why don't I see throw? Whatever. This is so annoying. It should be here. Shove, dip, jump, hide. There it is. Oh my god, I'm so fucking blind, I swear to god. Okay. Oh, thank you, thank you. I thought I was gonna die down here. I'm here to finish what they started. What the fuck? How did those goblins slip into the grove? It's my fault. I thought I'd given them the slip, but they followed me through the tunnel back there. I must tell the others what happened. I step careful. There are traps in these tunnels. And thank you again. All right. My god, what in the world is this? Oh my goodness, okay. Uh, good luck. Please. Oh my god, why? Literally, what? I don't want to waste an inspiration on this bullshit, come on. 
Oh, good. I could do it again. What? Oh. Uh, no disarm kit. Wait, I don't have a dis. I don't have a disarm kit. Oh Jesus. Well then, um, hmm. I need to get more of those. I don't know where. This is not important right now, anyway. So, I'll just go away. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. All right, let's go back on the road. Nazel, how would you punish someone who wronged you? Wrong me how? Oh, say, murder or theft? Killing is good. It calls the weak. But theft would be paid for painfully, a thousand times over. Oh. Hmm, good to know. <laughs> We're gonna quick save again. So I definitely want to find out. People up ahead, something's wrong. If I want to find out that Astarian is a vampire before we You're get to the vampire soul. killer. You can't die. Please stay with us. I, I don't think he's conscious. C can you hear us, Ed? You, not a step closer. Cause, so we're gonna have to uh, strange long rest before we get to Aunt Auntie Evil. Stares in response. So I'm gonna try to get the dog, maybe, and then take a long rest. We'll see. Strange symbol glows mark on their flesh. Okay. His wound looks deep. I might be able to help. All right, I'll try that. Negative one. What the fuck? Okay. He's hurt badly. An oil bear got him deep. If there's anything you can do. I'm watching you. The injured man locks eyes with you. A familiar squirming churns in your head. Move away, reaching for your weapon. Try to block him out. Hold his stare. Try to block him out. Useless. Your minds intertwine. You see his siblings, Andrik and Brenner. New recruits. Yours to shepherd. Protect them. He is a true soul. Mind him. He will. He. Oh. Edwin. Ed. I right please. clicked by accident. He's Sorry. With the absolute <laughs> now. You're. You're a true soul. Edwin, our brother. He was chosen. Like you. Do you have orders for us? We were reporting to Edwin. It's your brother. Why are you here? The wilderness is dangerous. We know that all too well, sir, but the Absolute sent us here. We're looking for fugitives, survivors from that ship that crashed farther west of here. Ah, uh -huh. uh -huh. I see. I'm gonna just quick save just in case. These fugitives, tell me more. We don't know what they look like, but anyone who survived that crash is bound to be injured. That's enough to get us started. The Absolute wants them found. At any cost. Hmm.
You need to find the beast and avenge your brother. What? It killed one of us. It killed Edwin. It's an enemy of the Absolute. You're right, sir. The beast must be destroyed. The cave is just ahead. It was too much for us before, but... But if you could help us, Trusso, we may stand a chance. True. I guess I'll help them. Strange power resonates within the corpse. It calls to you. Your limbs move of their own accord. There's something of value, something your mind craves. Why let its host's memories go to waste? The tadpole has absorbed it all. Its experience could nourish you, strengthen you. Oh my god. I have to do... Okay, I'm gonna do strength because I have a lot of strength. The tadpole is toying with you. Resist it. Oh my god. Oh my god. That went so bad. I guess I can't resist it then, Jesus. No use. Compulsion takes over. Your actions are no longer your own. Oh my god. Jesus. as soon as they need to. Vile parasites. All the more reason to rid ourselves of our own uninvited guests. All right, let's do this. I'm, ho I'm hoping that if I kill the owlbear with them, they're not going to, like, try to kill the cub. I don't think I've ever done this before. Owlbear tracks. Its nest must be nearby. This is it. I guess we go inside. Dead Albert prey, no doubt. The beast's ahead. We need to get closer. It's just a head. It's... It's huge. I, I, I'm not sure I can do this. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. I'm not gonna force authority. him with the fucking authority shit. Hmm. <sighs> Press your hmm. Press your advantage now before the beast smells your fear. You're right. We can handle this, and. And we'll do it for Edwin. Okay. Cunning words. I guess we could do that? <laughs> oh, how dare this bitch knock me over. What the fuck? I guess just melee. Oh my god, Shadow Art is crazy. 
Nice crit. I'm ready. Let's see. Shatter. Wait, it has 91 HP? Oh my god. Alright, Lazo. Now you get to actually melee something, right? Oh my god, we're destroying this thing. Still breathing, despite everything. Guess I'll do armor of Agathos? No, no, no. Yeah, I guess I'll. I guess I'll do that. Because I'm really close to it. Nice. That actually. Wait, that actually was big brain. I used armor of Agathos so I could walk and do damage at the same time. Like I go walk away and like protect myself and do damage at the same time. Oh, no way. Don't you dare. Don't you dare attack the cub. Oh my God, do I have to kill these freaks? If they if they try to kill this cub, I'm killing them. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. Time to strike. Nothing will stand in my way. Done. The cub looks from you oh, thank God. to his dead mother. A single strike will end his suffering. Let the creature live. <laughs> Shadow Heart approves. <laughs> You watch, speechless, as the cub begins to eat his mother. The cub has a fighting chance now. That, or we've just prolonged its misery. Mercy. Oh, yeah. Of course. Okay, we did it. On my way. We survived! I can't believe we survived! Um, sir. What now? Hmm. I wonder what happens. It seems you found your fugitive. Me. Huh. Okay, so I checked out what happens. All he does is attack you. So there's no point in doing that. Might as well just tell them to go... Uh... I guess be about your hunt then. Right. We will. Bry will know where to look. Thank you, true soul. Oblivious.
impervious to your presence, the cub continues to gorge himself on his dead mother. Moving ahead. More for me. An owl bear egg. These are supposed to be worth a fortune. Let's see, who and is friendly looking who shadow. is um wearing medium armor? I guess just Shadowheart. I should be wearing this, what the hell? We should be able to make this now. Vision of the absolute blind targets. I mean, it does the same amount of damage. I could just keep Rain Dancer. What about you? Can you put this on? Like, are you able to use staves? Don't touch me. I guess he is. Wait, zero to seven damage. What? Wow, that does no damage. Bit of caution never hurt. What the fuck? I guess I'll just use a dagger then. What path lies before me? Have to keep going. Oh, come on. Really? Well, hello. Can somebody pass this, please? Tread lightly. Every single one I'll of them failed. What? That's so annoying. I want free stuff. Light on my feet. Wait, what the hell is this? Where does this go? Not a chance. I'll fit in there. Oh, okay. That's when you shape shift. statue in a stinking cave. Hardly a place of honor. There is work to do. Got to press on. I guess I'll make her do this.
anything over there. Prayer dedicated to Saluna, imploring all to accept the Moon Maiden's blessing and share in her bounty. Salunite prayer. How useful. Wow, she failed that? Oh, action, not reaction. A prayer and a symbol. Hidden for a reason, perhaps. Someone there. Wait, so she succeeded, so... I'm trying to read this. What the hell? An ancient tome detailing how Saluna... How Saluna came into being along with her sister, Shar. No time to dally. Action, not reaction. Okay, so like if I did that, can I objective noted? Can I open it now with her? It's open. Oh, it actually she actually did it. <laughs> Never a I can't believe Lazelle is the one who actually did that. What the fuck? You should leave it. Or even destroy it if possible. Hmm. But why? This rubbish is an offering to Saluna. At best, it's worthless. At worst, who knows? Could be cursed. Do not trifle with that moon witch or her trinkets. Only trouble will follow. Huh. Now it's time to really get into the into the Shar business with her. Why do you care so much? Oh my goodness, please. Oh my god, we got critical success. Why do you care so much? I should have stayed quiet. You want the truth? Fine. I worship Shah, mistress of the night, Saluna's twin and foe. Now that you have the truth, please don't make a big fuss about it. The goddess of secrets. How, How telling. telling. <laughs> You could have told me. How long were you going to keep this secret? Forever, ideally. And you assume too much about what I can and cannot tell. Secrecy is everything for Shah's children. It is our code, our creed, our shield. I even keep secrets from myself. I had my memories suppressed so that nothing I know could be used against the Dark Lady. Once I prove myself, my memories will be restored. I'm not sorry I kept this from you. Not one bit. Though, perhaps that might change. If you can show an open mind. Hmm. Let's see how open-minded I can be then. Tell me more. Talk to me later. We've got more pressing matters to see to right now. Okay. Well, now we know she's Another a Shar worshiper. Forward. We need to find out that Astarian is a vampire. <laughs> I think this would be a good time to maybe long yeah, rest. No, okay, no, no, no. I'm going to go to the dog first and then long rest. So, oh. you and Lazel. <laughs> Seems tense. <laughs> Please don't remind me. But keep your guard up with her. Not. Anything over here? Are we able to walk here? No, okay. Maybe I need more pockets.
Oh, a mind flare pod. An empty mind flare vessel. If its occupant survived, then nowhere to be seen. I wonder who came out of this exactly. Like, it can't be Will, right? Because Will and uh, Carlac were like chasing each other or some shit. Maybe it is Will. if I should go up this way like I, I'm pretty sure the bridge has loot on it so I'd prefer to go there first yeah Oh, it's those guys. They've been so patiently waiting for me over here. Thought you was busy with the foul bloods in Elson's Grove. Knock it off with that foul blood shit. I thought you were busy leading your crew. I have somewhere else to be. You and me both. Gonna find the wizard who gave us the contract that got my people killed. Left out all the important bits, like beware, treasures beneath a pile of goblins. What was the contract? The kind that leaves half your crew dead. There's a wizard in Baldur's Gate that'll pay gobloads for a relic, supposedly buried round these parts. But gold ain't any use if you're too cold to spend it. Let's say I want that gold. Where would I find the relic? It's called the Night Song. It's supposed to be hidden under the temple where the goblins jumped us. I'd give you a map of the temple and wish you a happy funeral. But my mate Brian kept hold of it like his own sodger. Goblins made sure to the fat old chunk. All I've got's the contract. Can show you where we turn back. If you feel like dying. Thanks, I'll take it. <laughs> Don't thank me. I'll be well on my way to Boulder's Gate when you die. I'm just glad to be rid of the bloody thing. Happy hunting. Come on. We're wasting time. time. All right. Something's waiting up ahead. All right, because we got the perception check and he said something is waiting up ahead, my character is going to be a little wary of going forward. So we're going to explore the right side first and find the dog. The 
Do you have someone waiting oh, for you on board strange. this data starion? It a looks healthy, health, but it's stone dead. Not who cares about some uh, uh, It's not dead. one in particular. The city Let's is go. a veritable feast of sweethearts. Okay. You must be eager to get back then. Slimmer pickings out in this wilderness. All right, so she was just talking about that, and then we met the freaking pig. Okay, since we saw the, the pig, pig's dead, my friend. Staring at it won't bring it back. <laughs> I think on. if we rest, we'll never fix these brain worms if we stop and gawk at every piece of carrion you find. <laughs> okay. I really hope I can get this. God, it's lagging. Oh my god, there's no way. Hello, first of all, can it stop lagging? Oh, I got three inspirations. I could try again. There we go. The boar seems to be fresh, only a few hours dead. Examining the corpse, you see two small puncture wounds in its neck. And is it dead enough for you? <laughs> Persuasion. These marks are strange. Do you recognize them? It's been drained of blood with wounds in its neck. It's been killed by a vampire. Interesting. I didn't want to say anything because I didn't want to worry you. They are ferocious creatures. But don't worry. I'll keep watch tonight. We won't have to worry about nocturnal visitors. Now, please, let's go. Wait, he says this and then when we go to sleep, he tries to drink our blood. Is that really what's going to happen? Because that's kind of rude. All right, let's go meet Doggy. Oh. Such a grim name for such a beautiful flower. Oh, he called her beautiful. I heard you mumbling that line to yourself earlier. It needs more work. <laughs> Fortunate for his tongue, he didn't say it to me. Oh my God, I love it. I love how these guys are like interacting with each other. It's so funny. Poor baby, reach out to pet him. I'm gonna do animal handling. Hopefully, uh, we don't fuck this up. Oh my god, there's no way. Oh my, I have to reroll this. Please, don't fuck up the dog. I really need this doggy. Thank you. The dog lowers his hackles, his head tilted inquisitively. Convinced that you're harmless, he turns his attention back to the corpse. Take a closer look at him. Around his neck is a collar etched with a name. Scratch. You're all right, Scratch. With a deep, heartbroken whine, the dog bows his head. I'm gonna pet him. The dog whimpers nervously, as if to urge you on. Mm -hmm. 
Come on, Scratch, follow me. The dog looks at his owner with sad eyes. He does not move. Hold out your hand so you can follow your son to camp. The dog sniffs your hand, his tail swung low in understanding. He knows how to find you. Yay, we got the doggy. I'll just put the- I'll just read these just in case they affect something. I just get 60 experience not a chance I'll fit in there why did I just get ex get 60 experience whatever I think this is a good place to camp so hopefully the Astarian event happens first we'll go to camp See if there's anything anybody wants to say. Something the matter. I want to talk about your Shar worship. No, why were you in pain before? The wound on my hand. It never quite heals. And sometimes it causes terrible pain to rip through me. It's my burden, though, from Lady Shah. I can feel her influence somehow. Why would Shar subject you to such a thing? I cannot say. Not with what I can recall. But even then... It would not be for me to question her will. Lady Shah has her reasons. What causes it to hurt you? It's difficult to say. Sometimes I wonder if it's supposed to be guiding me, punishing me, testing me. But perhaps it's none of those. Perhaps it's... Completely random. I'd like to hope there's more to it than that. Some meaning that Lady Shah will reveal to me when the time is right. Until then, all I can do is endure. Is there anything I can do to help with it? I don't think so, but you're sweet to ask. Maybe just be patient the next time you see me wince or cry out. It'll pass quickly enough. It always does. Pain is sacred to followers of Lady Shah. Pain will give way to loss and then to the peace of her eternal darkness. You can tolerate a great deal of suffering so long as it has meaning. All right. I want to talk about your Shar worship. I'm sure you do. But please try to understand that it's not something I can just talk about freely. My apologies, I didn't mean to pry. Fine. Just keep out of matters that don't concern you. What? Why'd she say it like that? I have no problem with shower worshippers if that's what concerns you. Very 
well. Perhaps there's potential in you. Let's see how you handle this. I am indeed a disciple of Shah. Mistress of the Night and Lady of Loss. I assume you've heard of her? Uh... Honestly, your faith is your own concern. I won't judge one way or the other. Curious. Most are afraid of my lady. I think I did well by joining you. Most agreeable company. All right. I want to get to know you more. You already know my biggest secrets. What more can you ask? What drew you to Shar worship? She took me in when no one else would. Without her, I wouldn't be alive. She's my mother. She nurtures me, cares for me, loves me. Don't believe the lies the Salunites tell. Tell me something about yourself besides Shar, besides tadpoles. What? Besides my life's calling and the greatest problem I've ever <laughs> faced? Well, I like night orchids and can't swim. Is that the sort of thing you meant? You'll have to point out night orchids to me if we ever pass them. It's a deal. Anything else you'd care to share? No. I can't. Quite literally, I mean. With my memory suppressed, I can't betray Shah's secrets. And I can't remember much of myself, either. If I manage to return to Baldur's Gate and fulfill Shah's mission, then my memories will be restored. You've had your memories suppressed? That seems extreme. Of course. It is an act of faith, not to be undertaken lightly. Shah will reward me when I succeed. Okay, I want to talk about all that's happened to us. Fine. What's on your mind? How am I holding up in your estimations? I don't think I've ever had a confidant quite like you. And if I have, I can't remember them. <laughs> okay. She loves me now. Well, hello. What can I do for you? Anything different? Okay. What about you? Chuck, be wary of false promises. The missing druid, Halsin, was it? He may be talented, but only a Githyanki Zathis can cleanse an embedded tadpole. I'm not going to talk to her about anything because... You've got something to say. I want to focus on the goblin stuff, and if I listen to what she says, it's going to sound more like, oh, I should go to her thing, you know. How does the Blade of Frontiers end up chasing a devil in the hills? Karlak's fires raged in Baldur's Gate before she escaped to Avernus, as my source told it, and she was planning to return. One of the arch devil Zariel's own. Chaos incarnate, a devil with pure fire for a heart. She fled from oh, my shit. reach, even climbed aboard the Mind Flayer ship as it scratched the I have the to hells. get my hand off the mouse. <laughs> I followed in close pursuit. I can't bear to imagine the lives Karlak might be taking, the damage she might be doing. Who is this source of yours? A powerful friend with a keen interest in... Privacy. I'm sworn to say no more. A powerful friend, hmm? Like a warlock patron, perhaps? You are a warlock. <laughs> you know about bound souls and frozen tongues. I can only leave the rest to your imagination. Suffice to say, I hunt monsters. Devils included. 
and I will do what I can to quench the coast of their flames. Tell me, Will, how did you come to be the Blade of Frontiers? My father once said, one does not pursue a champion's life. One merely answers its call. So it was for me. I was hunting near the Cloakwood when I heard it. A child crying out from a lone farmstead. I found him in the fields flanked by goblins. His mother's corpse bled into the soil next to him. I don't remember much of the battle, but I remember drying the boy's tears after. What act could be finer than saving a life? You must have felt proud. Proud? No. Angry. Angry at the monsters preying on innocence. Angry at the so-called good gods for tolerating the cruelty of the evil. Angry at myself that it took so long for me to see the coast suffering. The frontiers demanded a blade. And so I heeded. And before that? Baldur's Gate, born and raised. The only son of a single father. He wanted one life for me. I chose another. We haven't spoken since I left the city. A classic drama. <laughs> a staunch father and his rebellious son. Better heard from the bard's lips than mine. Uh, I kind of want Will to join me. <laughs> oh my god, but if he joins me... It'll be like my my other playthrough where I just have a star hand will and shadow heart. What's on your mind? All right, I'm just, I'm not gonna talk to Gail that much. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Hopefully he tries to drink my blood. Okay, wait, do they have anything new they want to say? Now that it's nighttime. Yes. All right. You don't rest well. There we flitting go. between dreams and nightmares. Maybe you break your meditation because you know something is wrong. Or maybe you just get lucky. I like how he says he was going to watch and then he comes to bite me. Shit. Uh no, no, it's not what it looks like. I swear. I, I wasn't going to hurt you. I, I just needed, well, blood. There, in the dim firelight, you see him for what he really is. A vampire, a slave to sanguine hunger. <laughs> Pick up the steak and lunge at the monster. I can't believe I didn't see it. We even found the boar you snacked on. It's not what you think. I'm not some monster. I feed on animals. Boars, deer, kobolds, whatever I can get. I'm just too slow right now. Too weak. If I just had a little blood, I could think clearer. Fight better. Please. Please. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me? At best, I was sure you'd say no. More likely, you'd ram a stake through my ribs. No. I needed you to trust me. And you can trust me. Hmm. You tried to bite me. How can I trust you? Because we don't have a choice. Not if we're going to save ourselves from these worms. I need you alive. 
You need me strong. Please, only be a taste, I swear. I'll be well, you'll be fine, and everything can go back to normal. Fine, but not a drop more than you need. Really? I... Of course. Not one drop more. Let's make ourselves comfortable, shall we? Oh my god. It's like a shard of ice into your neck. A quick, sharp pain that fades to throbbing numbness. Your breath catches, your pulse quickens. Let him continue. You lean into him, losing yourself. You can feel your blood racing, coursing through both your bodies. A gentle, numb feeling starts to spread. I'm not gonna let myself drift away, okay? Stop, it's too much. Oh my god! Is he gonna kill me? Oh my god! No! Christ. Please. Oh my god. This is so bad. I just wasted my inspiration. Well, y'all are gonna see what happens when you fail. You can hear how weak your voice is. So can he. But he doesn't care. He's long past caring. You feel a little cold. But that's all. There's no more pain. No more fear. What the no fuck? He killed struggle. me! This is horrifying! It's all over. Something terrible's happened. Is he serious? Is he fucking serious? This piece of shit has the nerve to fucking kill me. Oh my god. Trust me. Alright, let's try that again. And this time I'm gonna say I do, I believe you, so I can get some uh approval. Thank you. Do you think you could trust me just a little further? And this time... I only need a taste. I'm going to fucking save scum the fuck out of the second time. At this, out of the second time because uh, I want to do it on the second time. But the second time has a higher uh, chance of me failing. So I'm going to like quick save before I do it the second time. Fine, but not a drop more than you need. Really? I, of course, not one drop more. Let's make ourselves comfortable, shall we? Because the uh, from what I read, the first time it is much lower, so it's easier to succeed. But I personally, it's like a shard of ice into your neck. A wouldn't quick, sharp pain that fades. Do it early, so numbness. I want to do it the second time. Your but breath it's, catches. Your it's pulse be hard. quickens. Like, I want to let him continue. Let him continue. You lean into him, losing yourself. You can feel your blood racing, coursing through both your bodies. A gentle, numb feeling starts to spread. Like, right now, I'm worried, and I want him to stop. All right, let's do this. So we're gonna quick save here. Oh my god, can that please hurry up? Okay, here we go. Now. Please just just work. Please. A twelve at least. Okay, it worked. We did it, we did it. We didn't have to save scum too much. Uh, of course. 
I was just swept up in the moment. Really? God, you almost killed me, Jesus. But it worked. I feel good. Strong. Happy. Ah. You almost killed me. Yeah. I guess I'm looking forward to seeing you fight. Shouldn't take long. So many people need killing. Now, if you'll excuse me, you're invigorating, but I need something more filling. Really? Are you this serious? This is a gift, you know. I won't forget it. You watch as he stalks towards the forest, stronger, more confident, ready to hunt. Jesus. All right, now let's see his approval. Let's move. Uh, how do I check here? Trust no one. Okay. What to do? Yeah, now his approval. Let's get on with it. Yeah, there we go. He has a lot. He got a lot of approval from that. Now. All right, here we go. It's been a... Good morning. How do you feel? <laughs> I'm fine. I just feel a little woozy. It'll pass. Just be glad I'm not a true vampire. A bite from them and you might wake up as a vampire spawn. Like my good self. All of a vampire's hunger but few of their powers. Is that how you can stand in the sun? Because you're not a true vampire? Oh no. I should be cinders in this light. I hadn't seen the sun for 200 years before we crashed here. Someone, or something, wants me alive. They've changed the rules. Standing in the sun, Wading through a river, wandering into homes without an invitation. They're all perfectly mundane activities now. As for my other quirks, well, <laughs> we can figure those out in time. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna say this. If I can help, just ask. We're in this together. <laughs> You're such a sweetheart. <laughs> I'm just glad you're being sensible about these uh, revelations. I was worried people might turn up with torches and pitchforks. Although there's still time. A vampire among us? So be it. But should I wake with so much as a drop of blood on my neck, I will end him. <laughs> I'd just better not wake in the night to find fangs at my throat. I trust him. He won't hurt us. Uh, quite the opposite. I'm here in the spirit Will of openness and honesty to work together as a team. Fine. He stays till he's no longer of use. Besides, my flesh is not so easily tasted. Unless, of course, I have offered it. <laughs> She's a there now. We're all friends again. Shall we go? There's a long day ahead of us. All right. I think that Thanks is well a good ends. time for us oh, to stop. Not as bad as it could have. Because let me see. Is that blood? No. In the next episode, I'll probably like talk to him, learn about the vampire. What the fuck? Where? No time to rest. Where the hell? No, I'm How is this so hard for me this. to like examine? Okay, there we go. 
Yeah, see, he loves me now, so. We're almost there. We're going to have that romance, guys. But I think this is a good time to stop. Uh, in the next episode, we will probably be uh, unlocking Karlak, probably. I think I'm going to unlock Karlak. Well, first, first, we're going to talk to him, right? Learn about vampires and all that. Then we're going to unlock Karlak. And then we'll go to the left so that we can meet Aunt Ethel and all that. And then we can, like, get even more approval. So that, that's the plan for next episode. Get ready for that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. See ya.